In this video, I'm going to show you some of my tricks that I use with minimalistic text to go ahead and to get get it to look how I want it to look on um, my screen. If we actually scroll through some of the windows, you'll see that it has a bordering on this particular minimalistic text. Um, and with this one, I know it's hard to see, um, but it actually has white text with a purplish pinkish background on it. So hopefully you have minimalistic text on your device and of course we would go to widgets and go down to minimalistic text and we want to go ahead and put a widget on there that's big enough to encompass the text that we're going to put into that widget so whether it's vertical up and down or whether it's horizontal going left to right we want to go ahead and make sure that we put a widget that's going to be big enough to encompass all the text. So for now, we're going to go ahead and do a time widget. And we're going to go ahead and just choose the 3 by one That should be big enough to uh, allow the text to be shown in the widget. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is name the widget. And because it's time, we'll just name it time and press OK. And at, that, at this point, we will go ahead and format the widget the way we want it to go ahead and look. For now, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it would look like if you just tapped OK. We'll do OK here. And as you can see, here's how the widget would look if you didn't really do any formatting. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and format this widget, Say for instance, we wanted to go ahead and make the background transparent or lighter. We would go ahead and click on the widget. And here, you can't really tell, but it's checked green to show the background. If we don't want it to show the background, we would just uncheck it. And it shows as a faded out gray check box. And we would press OK. And as you can see here, now it no longer shows the background. We can also do that by going into the settings and if the background is set to be on we can actually make it transparent by just moving this down to the bottom pressing the new color and then pressing OK and as you can see it's still transparent. We can also go ahead and of course change the coloring of it if we wanted to by going here and let's say we wanted it to be green. So we have it as green, we click on new color and press OK. And as you can see the background is a nice bright fluorescent green. If that's how we wanted the widget to go ahead and look. But for this instance we're going to go ahead and leave the background off. Now by default the predefined layout was the 12 hour clock, but of course we can change it to show a 24 hour clock, the date, battery, uh, and the weather. And then of course we can go ahead and customize it, but we're going to go ahead and keep it at the 12 hour clock. And also by default, the text in the widget, what you see is accented text, which is here and non-accented text, which is here. We're going to go ahead and format the accented text. So let's say we wanted to go ahead and make the accented text a little bit bigger. Instead of 17, we'll go ahead and put it at 22 and press OK. And let's say also that we wanted that text to be green instead of having that border in the background we just want the text to be green so we'll go ahead and put there put the new color and then once we go ahead and press back let me scoot this down a little bit we would go ahead and press the back key and press OK and now you see you can see that our 15 is bigger and it's in green. Now another trick that you can go ahead and do to format 
the 15 or that text, the accented text, is go to accented. And as you saw with the border on my office page, you would go down to blur radius and you would go ahead and put in a number anywhere between one and five. Once you get past five, it starts to get a little too blurry. And if you want it more defined, you want to go ahead and keep it between one and five. In this case, we'll go ahead and put it to three. And then the blur style, we'll go ahead and put it as outer. And now when we go back and press OK, you'll see that the 15, as I go in, is actually outlined in green with the center being transparent. So that is one of the tricks that I go ahead and use to differentiate my minimalistic border and everything. Once we get it to there, and let's say this is how we wanted it to look on our home screen. We go in and we want to save it. And because we named it first, when we save it, it'll automatically have the name of the widget in there. And we just would click on save. That way, if we wanted to go ahead and put the very same widget that looks the, looks the same and everything on another home screen or even on the same home screen, we can go ahead and just restore it. And we'll do that by just pressing restore. And if we hit that now, you'll see the time is in there. Now the other thing that we can go ahead and do with the minimalistic text is we can actually go ahead and make it do something when we tap on that particular widget. We can go ahead and disable it, which is right here, to where when you tap on it, nothing happens. You'll probably hear a little click because the widget is there, but it won't do any action. We can actually go ahead and have it speak on tap if we have text to speech on our devices if we click that and we click the widget it will actually speak in this case the time out to us and then the other thing we can do is start another activity which is pretty much when you tap on the widget you can have it start another application or shortcut as you can see here so we'll click on that and it's going to populate all of our application that's on the device. Now I have a, a lot on this particular device so it takes a couple of seconds. But we'll go down and because it's time we'll go to the clock. And as you can see here it actually gives you three options and in some of the applications you'll see you'll have more than one option. And you can always go ahead and change them as you like and I'll go ahead and uh, show you how to go ahead and do that. But for now we're going to go ahead and do the clock package we'll, which will go ahead and take us into our alarms. So we can set an alarm or see what alarms are set and everything like that. So we'll go ahead and click on that and if we ever wanted to go ahead and change it we would just go back to there, go back to the clock or to any other application we wanted to go ahead and use and then we would click on the other options that are in there. In this case is the world clock. We can take it to, to the world clock view or we can change it to the timer where we can go ahead and time something if we wanted to. But we're going to keep it where it is and then we're going to go ahead and click save again because we did make some changes to it. We'll click save and then we'll go ahead and click OK. So now when we click on the widget, it'll take us into the alarms. I don't have any set right now, but it'll take us into the alarm. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you another little trick by using another widget. Um, it's still minimalistic text, so we'll go to widget. And then we'll go to the same size minimalistic text, which is the 3 by one and now we can go ahead and restore and it's the time yes to it and we can tell it's the same when we go ahead and go here and you see that the text is the outline but say for instance we wanted to fill that in with another color 
So we would click on that and instead of it being outer, we'll go to inner. And instead of it being green, so it doesn't all look the same, we'll go to, let's say some far-fetched color like purple and click it to purple. And then once we go back and go out, click OK, you'll see that now it's showing the text in purple. And not only is it showing the text in purple, but it's showing the inside of the color as purple. So if we edit and have them overlap, you'll see that it'll fill in that text with the purple with the green outline. Now, I know that's not showing very well, but it shows up very well on your device. So take my word for it. Go ahead and try it out. Now, because on tap, it's going to take us to the alarm, we can't go ahead and edit it right now. And if we need to go ahead and edit, say for instance, we didn't want that pink or something like that, what we would go ahead and do is just go to our applications and go to minimalistic text. And as you can see here, here's the pink right here. And I know it's kind of showing as white on the screen, but here's the pink, here's the green. We want to keep the green the same, but we want to go ahead and change this pink to something else. So we'll go in here and go back to our accented. And then we'll change the color. And let's say we didn't want to do anything drastic and we went to black. We do the new color and then we go ahead and press OK. And now you see, you can't see it, but it's black. So now when we exit out, you see that it is black lettering inside with green bordering it. So that is some of my tricks that I go ahead and use with minimalistic text. Of course, minimalistic text can do a lot more than what I've just showed you. You have to go ahead and play around with it. Um, and you can go ahead and make it look pretty much how you would want it to look in the places that you want it to be placed. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. And I will address them as soon as I possibly can. Um, for those who have found this video uh, helpful, Go ahead and please give it a thumbs up and please, please, please go ahead and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Until next time, guys, take care.